Hi, this is Steve Button from the WebLogic Server Product Management Team. Today in the screen cam, I'm going to do a quick demo of getting the WS Developer zip file distribution up and running. Assuming that you have the zip file distribution downloaded, the first thing you're going to need to do is create a directory and unzip the contents into that directory. Worth noting here is that the 1211 zip file distribution is now 164 megabytes in size. Once the unzip operation completes, you can list the content of the directory to see what was provided in the zip file. At the top level is a uh, readme file which provides essentially the same set of instructions that I'm working through today in this screen cam. It's well worth a read. Uh, to familiarize yourself with the various setup operations and requirements to run the zip file distribution. I'm now going to perform the first of several important steps that need to be performed in order to successfully use the zip file distribution. The first is the setting of several environment variables from within the shell from which you're executing the zip file. The first is to set the Java home environment variable to the location of your JDK home. The second environment variable you need to set is a, an MW underscore home, which points to the directory in which you have unzipped the dip, zip file distribution. The next important operation that needs to be performed is to execute the configure shell script that you'll find in the top level of the unzip directory. The configure shell script will iterate over all of the jar files that it finds inside the zip file distribution and will execute an unpack operation on them. This is a one-off operation that needs to be performed the first time you use the WLS zip file distribution. The next important step is to ensure that your environment is configured correctly to execute the WebLogic server process. This is done by issuing a call to the set WS env shell script. With these steps now complete, WebLogic server is ready for use and you can proceed to create your first domain. To create a new domain, we'll use the implicit domain generation capability of WebLogic Server. Create a new directory and change into it. And then launch WebLogic Server from that empty directory using the following command. The first time WebLogic Server is started from the command line in this fashion, it's important to provide the memory settings and also the Java options environment variable to be passed in. WebLogic Server will now start and prompt you for the username and password you wish to set on the new domain. The new domain will then be generated and the server will be started. Once the server is started, I typically recommend that it is stopped using control C and you then launch the server using the formal start web logic script that is provided at the domain level.
Once the server has started, you can then open a browser and access the management console to begin using WebLogic Server. And that's it. There we have a fully functional WebLogic server up and running with a new domain created entirely from a 164 megabyte zip file distribution. The current plan of record is that the WebLogic Server 12C download will be available the week of December 5th. So keep an eye out for it and I hope you enjoy using the zip file distribution.